So let's test that. How many faces are on a cube? We have six. How many vertices are on a cube? We have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus eight minus edges. How many edges? Twelve. And fourteen minus twelve is two. So check. That works. On a tetrahedron, how many faces are there? One, two, three, four. Four. Plus how many vertices? One, two, three, four. How many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that gives us two again. And lastly, on the square pyramid, how many faces are there? One, two, three, four, five. How many vertices are there? One, two, three, four. And the top one, five. And how many edges are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So five plus five is ten. Minus two, minus eight gives us again two. So that works. And just a caution. Uh, the 3D shape you draw cannot intersect itself, or else this formula doesn't work. For example, if you took this top of the pyramid and you pulled it down through the bottom, this formula no longer holds. So it should be a regular-looking regular 3D shape. You won't really encounter any of those in geometry, but just a caution.